Did it again. Forgot to start the video. Thor Ragnarok is just a couple months away, and it's hard to imagine anyone but Chris Hemsworth playing Thor. But he almost didn't get the part. When he originally auditioned for the first movie, he thought he nailed it, but he never got a call back. You know who did? His brother, Liam. Apparently, Liam Hemsworth was one of the top contenders to be Thor, but ultimately, none of those top contenders ended up getting the part. So, Chris somehow went back in for another audition with a new goal. To show up his own brother. Quote, that second audition was a lot different than my first one. I came in kind of with a little, I guess, motivation and maybe frustration that my little brother had gotten further than me. The sibling rivalry sort of kicked up in me, then it moved pretty quick from there. He does make a good point. There are a few things more motivating than the idea of losing out to a loved one. It's like losing at a video game to your girlfriend. Super frustrating. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones just settling in for the long wait until the eighth and final season, there's some good news. They're taking a page out of the Walking Dead playbook in order to avoid spoilers. HBO's president of programming said they're filming multiple endings for the series so that no one knows what's actually going to happen. Uh, presumably that extends to most of the cast and crew as well. The Walking Dead did a similar thing last year at the start of season 7, filming a death scene for each of the major actors so no one would know who was actually killed after a long cliffhanger. So far, HBO as an organization has yet to officially confirm or deny anything on Game of Thrones, but I think this is a great idea because for a season that could be up to a year and a half away, seriously, there's no official release date yet and projections are for late 2018 to early 2019, you gotta assume there will be quite a few people trying to get the details on the ending before it airs. Plus, they can add the alternate endings as bonus features on the DVD release and then everyone can argue about which ending was better until George R.R. R. Martin actually finishes the books if he ever does. If you voted for Donald Trump in the 2016 presidential election, or even if you just didn't vote for Hillary Clinton and now you regret it, tough nuggets, Hillary doesn't like you. In an interview with Anderson Cooper last night, she said she does not forgive those people. Quote, no absolution, but I just hope people will take what happened this time seriously and be ready and willing to vote the next time. I feel like maybe the I won't forgive you if you made a mistake hardline attitude is somewhat off-putting. Maybe the kind of thing that would cause people to not vote for you? Just the thought. It has been confirmed, though, that Alec Baldwin will be re returning <laughs> to play Donald Trump this season on Saturday Night Live, though, so there's a bright spot out of this whole debacle. And that's The Daily Dish on Gems 96.3. Oh, boy! I'll tell you what, I got some energy legs this morning, but apparently I cannot speak, and I am never able to remember to start the freaking live stream on time. I try to start it like a minute ahead of time so as to, um, you know, just get going, get into the flow of things, be like, hey, the live video's up. Come on in. Welcome to our luxurious studio that is just basically a gray box. Uh, have you ever seen the studio? You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and show you around here without uh, realigning. Hold on. Let me unchain myself from the board without realigning the uh the video this this is what the jam studio looks like if you've never if you've never been inside uh a radio station or a studio yeah that's it it's like a i don't know i want to say a 12 by 12 maybe i don't know i'm not very good with judging distance like eyeballing it maybe like a 12 by 12 square box gray walls gray everything and there's one window over here that uh with a beautiful view out into cubicle land um so I, you know you can't even see outside and it's always freezing in here it's perpetually cold which is why i am always wearing a jacket even in the dead of uh summer dead of summer the dead of winter is usually what you say but like the the uh hey thanks michael Nice shack. <laughs> yeah, that's basically, that's basically what we're working with here. Anyway, in a couple minutes here, I'm going to take a poll. How do you feel about wearing socks to bed? This was a, a thing on Twitter, like overnight. Uh, people were very polarized. So if you want to call me up with your opinion, 518-476-9696. And you can tell me how you feel about wearing socks to bed, whether you do it, whether you judge people who do or do not. We'll discuss that momentarily. And also, we got... Uh, we got tickets to Irish 2000 at the Saratoga County Fairgrounds Music and Arts Festival this Saturday coming up around 8.40. Another chance to get qualified for Mac to School during the high five at 9. Between 9.05 and 9.15, you know, it's always a variable. I'm not sure exactly when it's going to happen, but somewhere in there. And then, of course, the last episode of the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show for the week is coming up at 10.30. So we'll see you then. Thanks for tuning in, listening, watching, etc., etc. And peace be with you. <laughs>